Yo, what's going on guys? Just before we get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to my clan chat. I've decided to open it up to the public and it's fresh new, good start, all that stuff. If you wish to join, just type in Teletubby King and I'll see you in there. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Hardcore Iron Man PvP World Only Progress video. Uh, so basically what happened is that this entire video is going to be over commentary. I'm going to narrate this bitch and we're going to see how it goes. I went home for Easter break to go see my parents. And I didn't bother recording my my voice. I just didn't was it in the moves, I guess. Just didn't really feel like it. And I didn't even bother bringing my microphone home. So I was like, you know, why not just do some quests, get some games on my Hogwarts Iron Man while I'm chilling here for the weekend, you know, all that stuff. Uh, so as you can see, basically I have done so many quests, tons of progress. Like I said in my previous video, I was planning on doing just a bunch of quests until the next video. So you guys are gonna see all this progress. So what I've been doing is like doing Rescue with Azasta, um, early quests that get really nice XP at early levels, and it's been really good so far. During this video, I've also been like hunting down some easy clues. There's a quest called Death of Dorgenshin, and I think that's how you see it, I'm not entirely sure. And for that, you need two sets of ham robes. And honestly, I was super dry again in gloves. It literally took me like four hours to get the two pairs of ham gloves. I was super dry. But during that time, I managed to get easy clues and I managed to finish the Ardoin. Ardi. Oh, here we go again. I managed to finish the diary. I got the cape. I finished Biohazard 2. I can get into the Ogre Pen. Say spot the Ogres for my Slayer task. So there shouldn't be any problem with me dying. And we have like this. I found this to be a problem. I have an XP lamp right here. I can't use it on Herblow because it's like not, not level over 30 or whatever it is. So. Unfortunately, I have to use it on magic. I had no other choice. Like, I didn't know what to do it on. And I couldn't even bank the lamp itself. So, I just didn't know what skill to put it on. It was either like agility or magic. So, I put it on magic. Because that was going to benefit me more towards different teleports. Because I really do want that level 45 magic for those Camelot teleports. Tell me the Camelot would be so nice. So, what I'm going to do right now is actually teleporting to um, the RD prayer church thingy mob bobby whatever it's called i'm walking all the way up there it's a pain in the ass and as i've been doing my easy clues i've also been spotting some dragon implings on my account so it's actually really nice i've actually spotted maybe like five now so i just put a few clips in here because i thought it was really cool to put in so just sort of like a free dragon implant just walking around do my easy clue scroll boom dragon ink comes out of nowhere and then here's my first casket easy clue so you've got a black pickaxe which is actually pretty it's like, I think it's a unique, I don't know what it is. I believe it's a pickaxe that doesn't even weigh anything. So it's like pretty good to do rune crafting with, I guess. If I want to go in the wilderness, I don't know. But it's a unique. I got a, the best in, in slot pickaxe. And, you know, of course, during my questing, I do it the PvP world. And I ran into more trouble. And then I've had a lot of people come up to me and say nice videos, all that stuff. You know, I've had so many people come to me lately. And they just know who I am. I've, it's crazy. I've never had so many people come up to me and be like, hey, I know you, blah, 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 all that stuff. So... If you're one of those people, thank you so much. That's like really awesome. And also, I'm like, people have actually been helping me out. I have been, like, people with different comment levels, they can't attack me yet. They've been literally following me around everywhere I go. And if they see someone they can attack, they just go for it. It's hilarious. And it's just really cool that people are actually willing to protect me. And here's a quest I should have done like ages ago, probably like the first or second episode. This quest gives you a ring of life. And you're not entirely sure what ring of life is. It teleports you out if you're below 10 HP to a safe zone. So if I'm ever in a situation that I'm getting attacked, you know, got disconnected, lagged, blah, blah, blah and there's something attacking me, I have a chance of teleporting out. It's not 100% though no, that I'll teleport out. It's just a chance. It really depends on what monster it is too. And so hopefully one day that ring of life will come into use. I think it would though, because it's such a good item to have. And then here's just some more openings. I got a blue elegant shirt and a black full helm. I sold that black full helm to general store for like, I don't know, 1k. It's, it's pretty rubbish. And then, I don't know. And then here's another clue opening. Uh, we didn't get too many good items, I'm afraid. Like this one, look at this, terrible. This, oh, garbage, other oh, garbage. And then right here, I got a, another clue. Easy peasy. Oh yeah, this is why I have it on. I've been hunting gloves for two hours. And then just read that clue right there. Read what it says. Ha, you, you are having a giggle, Jagex. Yeah, they're just like, oh, Telly Toby's hunting clues. He's hunting those gloves for two hours. You know, he's never going to get them. Let's give him a clue that says you need gloves. So that was, that was Jagex for you. And then here's another terrible clue opening. Purple Sweet Saw. 
I think that's my second one, so it's not too shabby. And then right here, I found another Dragon Imp Link, which is so nice. Boom, caught it. I actually have to pot up. <laughs> so I had to pot up to catch Dragon Imp Links, which is really hilarious. I don't have eight. I think that's 83 Hunter you need. And I don't have that. I'm only level, level 80, I think. And boom. I mean, easy, easy 300k, I guess. It's not really too bad. And then here... I needed to go buy more lore runes, and I couldn't really think of a good place to buy lore runes that would be easy to access. Um, there is a place in Ulcarid that you have to complete the food quest, right? And then you open this private shop, and it gives you lore runes, cosmic runes, all this stuff. But I didn't do the quest. I couldn't be asked to do it. So I just decided to go to the major arena. Very silly idea, I know. I could have died very easily. But I need those lore runes. I was running low, and what happened was... I had one more low room, I ran into a PK that attacked me, and I had to use that emergency teleport. And from there on, I didn't have any more teleports, nothing. So I had to get low rooms like as soon as possible. So this is basically what I did. I just scouted my main account, went to the mage arena. It was like my best bet. And like I just wanted to get a low room ASAP, like even one low room, which would be fantastic. I could have killed Chaos Druids and Warners for Lorians, for example. But the thing is, I don't want to level up combat uh, that fast. I want to wait to, until I get, like, Protect Prayers. Because if I get, like, level... If, like, if, like level 65 can attack me, for example, I could die so easily. And I really want Protect Prayers, like, ASAP. So I decided to go risk it. Go buy Lorians. It's probably a really stupid decision, but... I think it was for the best of me. Definitely worth it. I didn't die, though. So I can't really complain. I got the bloody teleport ready from the Aussie Cloak. So that's hilarious. And then we made it out safe, so that's pretty good. And then here is me completing, I think it's called Imp Catch, I believe, the Amulet of Accuracy, which would be super nice. It took me, it didn't take me too long. I got maybe four duplicates of the white and yellow beads, I believe. So it's kind of annoying getting the other two, but it wasn't too bad. But here we go, boys. The Amulet of Accuracy, so worth it. Look at that. It's not too bad. I mean, I think the best one, over that is a power amulet, but it's not really too bad. And then here I was doing another easy clue scroll, and I found a guy splashing on a rat in over all, all the way over here. He could have done it anywhere else. He could have splashed on literally anything else, but he decides to do it on a rat over here. And I have my pure account, so like one day membership left. I managed to find him, and I come over here just for a whip, and I actually managed to kill him. I don't know what he was doing all the way over here. I guess no one thought that no one would catch him. Unfortunately, he did run out of castle. That's why he wasn't attacking back at the rats because he ran out of runes. Um, but yeah, let's see what we're going to get right here. Just chaos runes, that's it. How many? You know, it's not really a whole lot, isn't it? I was expecting so much more, but the fact that he ran out of cast like, before is kind of tough. I was there a bit too late. But even even over you, it, yeah. Even if the rat was attacking back, and then he was attacking at the rat back, I could have just got my cat and killed the rat, so it wasn't too bad. Here's another clue opening. Nothing really special, pretty terrible. Got the black longsword, though. Nothing really useful. And then here's another clue. Oh, oh my days. This clue is bunk. Look at that. A black wizard robe G. That is really nice. It's really unique, and it's really cool, too. Also got some low runes in there, and some coins. So that definitely is followed by my best easy clue rewards. I've gotten the low runes and the coins. They are just so, so nice. Oh, look at that black top. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yes, let's go. So that's a really cool item I got. And I thought that was really something I could put in the video. And then right here, I get my first pair of gloves. It took me like literally two or three hours. And I think I got like level 36 thieving just from hand leathers because that's how dry I was from gloves. And... It was a pain in the arse, and I was super happy from it. And it just took so long. And then here we have all the sets, basically. The two sets, and I'm missing one pair of gloves, and I can't get it. And it's just really, really annoying. And then, like, two hours later, I finally get that pair, and I was super happy. Because now I get to do Death of the Dormition Quest, I believe it is. And then from that, I unlock some fingernail bobbies downstairs that I can steal, um, like, jewellery sell it to the shop and make absolute bank from it um so here's me completing death to dog mission quest it does actually give some pretty nice range xp so if you like level one range i recommend you do this quest it gives like 2k range xp i believe i don't know and i got i got good my range levels wasn't too bad there's another even level i was at 34 oh shit i like about 36 i'm terrible am i <laughs> and then here's me 
just oh yeah i got the diamond amulet boys that is gonna be so nice i just need to enchant it now i need like level 50 summoning magic to enchant the diamond amulet to make it power amulet and then here's just me selling like look at all these coins you get it is a mad gp profit it's crazy and then i did like another two or three trips got like a 30k cash stack went to go buy more runes blah blah and then here's me completing priest apparel so i can start doing the caliphus rooftop those marks of grace because I want to get that Grace set. It's going to be really nice. Got some more prayer levels too. So that's really awesome. Wasn't too shabby. So I can now access the Canifus area. And go over there. And then go use the bones. Like the Actophile place. Whatever it's called. Actophungus. I don't know what it's called. You know use the Dragon Bones and all that shit. I'm probably going to use baby, baby Green Dragon Bones to be honest. Because they're easy to save spot. And it's not too shabby to get there. And then here's just me selling more shit. And I also got a Diamond too. So that's going to be really nice. And then I'm just buying some runes here for the my ogre task. It wasn't too shabby. I'm it's definitely worth it. And then all those jewelry, it's it was so easy to get. So it's definitely worth it for me. And just buying all these runes definitely is gonna give me some mage levels for sure. And then on my way to ogres, do my slayer task, and that's all the progress I have so far for today. Alright guys, that's another episode of the Hardcore Iron Man episode series, Figima Bobby. I'm um, sorry that the commentary might have been a bit sloppy. I was doing it over commentary, like narrating, basically, because I didn't record. And then I'm not, I'm not like entirely used to this, so it might have been a little bit weird experience. But there should be another episode out either tomorrow or two days from now. Shouldn't be too shabby. A lot does happen, so you want to stick around for that. If you enjoyed the series so far, leave a like down below, and if you haven't already, leave a subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.